There's one big takeaway from Biden's press conference that I want us to hang on to, uh, that, I, that I believe can frame everything uh, moving forward in the Biden-Harris administration. Have you heard that? It's now, it's now the, for the first time ever, it's the president and vice president. They don't call it the Biden administration, it's the Biden-Harris administration. They're getting rid of the transition already. What I'm gonna play for you here says less about Biden, although it says a lot, and more about how the media will cover him until they don't. I'll explain that. Here, this is the one clip you really need to see from the press conference. I'm gonna say something outrageous. I have never been particularly poor at calculating how to get things done in the United States Senate. So the best way to get something done, if you, if it holds near and dear to you that you uh, um, like to be able to, anyway, I'm, we're going to get a lot done. And if we have to, if there's complete lockdown and chaos as a consequence of the filibuster, then we'll have to go beyond what I'm talking about. Okay, um, hang on. Uh, sorry. Oh, Sing Ming, Miss Kim. And what are we doing here? You are not allowed to ask any questions ever about the president's mental health. You're not allowed to ask any questions about the president's cognitive abilities or dementia or anything. Right. Uh, Remember during the last presidency, if, uh, how worried we were told all the time that Trump's going to start World War III because he was a strong man? What message did Biden just send right there to China and Russia? It's not the strong man. So here's how this is going to work. This, this is the important thing. Right now, it's only far-right fringe lunatics like me who are asking any questions about the president's health. Then it's gonna be uh, more mainstream conservatives. And when that starts to happen, the media is going to rip these people to shreds. How could you say such a thing? How dare you question the president's health? You're emboldening our enemies by suggesting he's not well and unfit. How could you? How dare you? You're terrible, you're awful. And then people on the far left are gonna outflank the president and start asking the same question. And the media is going to do the best they can to hold this off for as long as they can. And then one day, something will happen, and it will be absolutely undeniable, even more so than that clip we just played. And then the Democrats, the ones who are really running the show, are going to throw old Joe out to pasture so fast he won't even know what happened. His key card to the Oval Office one day just won't work. <laughs> Have you ever been fired, or you know someone who's fired and no one tells them? and they're just not allowed back in the building. Like, that'll be Joe. They won't even tell him. He won't be allowed in the Oval Office, and he'll like, crawl through the window, and Kamala will be sitting at the Resolute's desk, and they will just throw Joe down the memory hole like he never even happened. Wow. That was deep and insightful. I want more of that. Like, subscribe, get more.